Well, hey there, Miss and Miss Taurus, and welcome to your channeled intuitive reading for the next three months, August, September, October, from the Gasmic Tarot. It is a general reading, so you might want to look at the forecast for your moon rising in Venus. Take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. There's a link in the description if you don't know what those are for you. And if it does resonate, you want to claim the reading, etc., throw a comment below the video as we throw out some foundational cards for you. And then we'll do that interpretation and then pull some clarifying cards. I want to tell you that if one of the messages comes up from you from a specific spirit, I will point that out versus generally. Because I do have spirits in the room constantly when I'm doing these readings. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I see prosperity coming. Mm. I see another opportunity to have some more coffee. All right, so let us get started here with this Queen of Water. All right. Oh, by the way, thanks again for your likes and subscribes to support the channel. I so appreciate that. All right, so Queen of Water. This is about, look at her. Her eyes are closed. She's just drinking it in. She's smelling it in. She's just enjoying. Okay, this is about self-love, self-care. Okay, compassion for yourself, being comfortable in your own skin. You know, okay, For if you're a certain age, if I say, it's about taking that Calgon moment. Those of you, you'll know what I'm talking about. And those of you who have no idea, Google it. And then you'll be along with the rest of us. Okay, it's about uh, loving and cherishing and nurturing yourself. It's, a you know, the Calgon moment. Taking the bath with the beautiful bath salts and oh, the manicure, the pedicure. You know, maybe you're getting your eyebrows done. I mean, whatever. You know, just pampering yourself a little bit. Treating yourself. You know, putting your mask on before helping others. And that used to be on the plane. Now, you know, it's something else. But it's about being a best friend to yourself. It's about the relationships you have with others reflecting, really, the relationship you have with yourself. If you love yourself, okay, this is the heart chakra, the back of the heart chakra, the front of the heart chakra, both collectively open, all right, front of the heart chakra, this is my interpretation of, I can't tell you, I won't admit how many decades, is your ability to give love. The back of the heart chakra, my interpretation, is your ability to receive. Back of the heart chakra can be closed. I've done a lot of balancing for people in the back of the heart chakra. That's your place of worthiness, of what you deserve, okay? So your ability to receive is affected by your emotional state, your feeling of worth. And this is about knowing that you are worthy of love and respect. We know this about you, Taurus. Now it's time for those of you who don't know it, not everyone, so stop the nasty grams, to realize it. It's about healing yourself so you can be the change you want to see in the world so you have compassion to inspire others. An amazing card to have in your foundational uh, deck. Then we have the chariot. Now, in the, in the regular tarot, the chariot is about moving forward. It's about travel. It's about, you know, taking the reins and really charging forward. All right. And this card, just gorgeous. The, the gal that's in here, she's just surrounded by gold and this beautiful uh, horse all dressed. She's dressed in, I would call, sexy evening wear. She's ready. She's illuminated in this card. And she's claiming victory. You know, what she's what you've you know, what I've worked for. You know, I've I, I've worked hard, I've achieved. You know, even with all those obstacles that I faced and I had to overcome, now it's time for my victory, and you've learned all the aspects, okay, in the in in life in order to grow, to become stronger, so stronger better, bolder, you've come through, and you're shining that inner light outwardly. 
just, I'm overwhelmed, you know? And then you've got the Ace of Earth, and boy, talk about a great card. This is that, the buck, you know, the, with the, the mature buck. Look at the, the size of the horns, you know, standing on the top of that rock at the top, the base of the, uh, the top of the mountain. He's got the sun above him. I'm not sure you can see that in this card. Uh, he's got butterflies on his, I think it looks like butterflies or something growing off of his antlers. This is about standing tall, standing firm. It's about prosperity in its purest form. What's prosperity? Well, you know, it takes many forms, uh, but it's, in this case, in the physical world, it's abundance made manifest. So it's about the quan. It's about the money. It's about the home. It's about the dream. It's about recognizing the many forms of abundance and plenty as they come to you and you align yourself with success. You're generating gold from these resources. The essence of prosperity in the physical form, in the material world, you know, it's coming. And you've got, you've, it's at your fingertips. You know, you're making that impact. You're making it happen. Wow. So, mm, um, amazing. All right, so let's get some clarification here. I did pre-shuffle, but let us do a quick shuffle. So for Taurus, guys, spirits, next three months, August, September, October. And gently, because this is a very slippery deck for some reason. Let me put these out. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so... Gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I told you it was a slippery deck. All right, stay. Don't move. Coffee. <sighs> okay. So you're either coming into the period or at the beginning of the period, you're still carrying... Um, some of this <clears throat> disappointment, you know, you've temporarily moved away from a situation that wasn't serving you. All right. It happens. You're forced to deal with some situation, um, some kind of loss, maybe a bereavement. So feeling that loss, feeling that disappointment. It's still in your space. Um, maybe you've you've lost um, uh, money in a in a, or you've had some bad situation in a relationship. As I'm getting a couple of spirits on each side of that equation, that are coming in specifically for people. Maybe you pa okay another spirit's coming in and you were saying that you were passed over for some kind of job that you were looking. To, to get into. It could be, um, uh, it, they're not telling me whether it's a, a different position in, in a firm or something, uh, a new job that you were looking for. But rest assured, you are starting that new journey. You know, and we talked about all that as you're moving forward and claiming victory. Um, you are, you're, you're really taking that leap of faith that um, either one of two things will happen. You'll either hit solid ground or you'll be taught how to fly. I also see travel, um, travel highlighted in the next three months here. Possibilities of a new relationship as you work on yourself, actually. So spirit is clarifying for me. They're saying the new relationship to yourself will open doors if you want to get into a new relationship with someone else. Um, Opportunities for, for a new business or expanding a business that are becoming relevant. Right here. Definite opportunities. Okay. What do we got else? Okay. So this is to remind you that 
and and you know we saw this in the foundational cards it's about tending your garden now you're working uh, on a project and you're working smarter not harder this is about you gaining and tending the garden and gaining that financial stability it's also about that independence and the feminine energy so women or men as they're embracing their feminine side it's that independence that financial reward that's coming and yeah it it's it's coming all right what else do we have yeah you see and you'll be able to claim victory and victory is coming right under this chari card which is about that victory so you'll be able to claim the victory in this situation uh good news on the horizon so in it, what you'll see what's coming here in the next three months is that ability to turn it all around uh, if you've had some kind of a hardship or to really continue to build on something uh, that you've been working on to manifest that gold okay in the material world sure and you've got the wish card Okay, so you've got this nine of um, the nine of cups, and the nine of cups reminds us that we can have the wish, and the wish can be fulfilled within our material world now. Dreams coming true. Um, this is also a possibility of new romance if you're interested in that. But what I'm getting for a lot of people, it's about the bringing that calling in that, uh, a, a, the, that sort of that law of attraction, calling it in and having it materialize. But remember, based on these cards, it's not a lottery win windfall. It's reaping the benefits of what you're sowing. So you're tending your garden, you're planting the seeds and it's, and it's they're growing. And you're being able to say through your uh, perseverance, that things are materializing. What else do we have? Okay, and then we have the Ten of, wow. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and this is about wealth. This is about investments maturing. This is about uh, going to celebration. So you might be celebrating with family some kind of event during the next three months. It could be a, um, a big reunion, a party uh, um, of some sort could be a, a wedding engagement this is also about the possibility of inheritance um, coming in so I guess you might have money coming from more than one source bottom of the deck okay and this is about money coming Wow okay this is the six so it's definitely coming there I mean you've got more money in this reading than I've seen in readings in a long time and this is about also about support for what you're doing so go forth and prosper guys i love your reading for the next few months enjoy and uh, thanks again for liking and subscribing to support the channel taurus we'll see you next time take care